Hey guys, Mr. White will hack back another video. Today I'm going to be showing you if you have a tablet or a laptop how to check the battery health on it, health on the battery. For example, if you buy a so I bought this and uh, if you buy off eBay refurbished, you have to have a minimum 80% capacity. If it's below that, they will re replace it for free. So yeah. So what you do is go to start up. Actually, you don't do that. Just press search cmd oops command prompts up now okay in here you want to type in power power cfg space forward slash i think uh, battery report Center okay, so battery report it tells you where it saved it. So you want to go there now, whatever it says is saved. All right, so mine was saved under users. Wahi, and there you go, battery report right there. So, what you're looking for are these numbers here. I'll show you here. So, as you can see. So when this was brand new, it was uh, 38,152 milliamp hours. Make sure you charge it a few times after you get it, by the way. So then it gives you an accurate number. Okay, and what it, full charge capacity now is 32,775, which isn't too bad. When I did first get it, I charged it fully once, and uh, it was quite low. It was around 20,000, which was below the 80%. It was about 75% it was at, so... He, the guy said just charge a few more times gives you more of accurate so that's what i've done and yeah he gives me a proper accurate one now so this battery is not bad not bad at all guys so yeah and you can see your last few times so windows is always logging this so this will be quite accurate that's why you that's what i was saying to you charge it a few times because it might have been sat on a shelf or whatever so charge it three full three four cycles then do this battery report that'll give you a very accurate amount guys so yeah so here's the this was on about so a few of the times it was 25,000 23,000 so they are well below the 80% required but this last one has been quite good and then the one after that has been quite good as well 22 32,000 million powers whatever so each time I charge it full cycle it gets better that's just probably because it's been sat there for a while with no charge at all so it's got better and then here you can have a look here so <clears throat> so the design capacity you should last for two hours and 40 minutes while it's uh what do you call it while it's in use right now it's lasting two hours and 17 minutes which isn't bad we've lost about 23 minutes of usable time from the battery this is all calculated so this is real data okay and the Design capacity for the standby. Standby is just like idling, literally just sat on a menu or something. Six hours and fifty minutes. It's gone down to five minutes, five hours and fifty-two minutes, which is quite bad. That's quite a big difference there, but it is what it is, guys. As long as the main one where you're using it isn't that bad, it's quite good. So yeah, this is a healthy battery. So yeah, if you wanna. So yeah, uh, what would I say is a bad battery? I'd say a bad battery is about 70%. If it's around 70%, it's a very bad battery. And uh, if you buy refurbished of eBay or something and it says under uh, 80% or lower, they will replace the battery for free under warranty. Get it done, guys. Just check it with this. Easy as that. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye.